All right, this is a quick instructional video on load cells and checking them in the field. Real quick, we look at this, we got 350. If I go to the white, boom, almost 292. Go to red, almost 292. If I go from the excitation wires about 400 so the numbers are actually pretty good but here's the thing if we put our leads back on the signal wires and we grab our test box there's a portable power supply any type will work we got our power supply hooked up we got nothing touching we turn our meter back to millivolts and we turn this on. We're putting out 15 volts. We're reading 60 millivolts. Now understand the output should be about 6 millivolts. I can also push here with my finger on the bottom. We can see that it will kind of respond to that. But then again, we can tell when we hook up the power supply that this is putting out 10 times the amount of voltage that it normally should. So we know that the load cell is bad. The card is suspect because it's been soldered on many times, but we can tell the load cell is bad from the voltage back. And that's why you should build or buy something like this. All right, this is part two. I've replaced the load cell properly this time. And, uh, notice everything's off. I've got my wires hooked up, ready to test. I energize, we got the 15 volts, and now because it's on its side it's reading low, but if I put my hand down here and push against it, you can see the load cell respond. So with just a little bit of weight around there, this should what it'd be if it was hanging vertically. And this is what would happen if more, more potatoes were being added to it. This is the value you're looking for. Laying flat on the table, one millivolt, that's fine. Pushing against it, you'll want to see it respond and do everything your hand's doing. Just putting pressure just a little bit between the body and the bottom. So if you have your power supply and you hook it up like this, it should give you that, millivolts. That is what you're looking for. Just one more note on load cell troubleshooting. Here you can see I've already soldered the new uh, load cell wires to the new board. The uh, signal from that comes out of this plug here. And what we're getting here is we're giving it 15 volts on both sides. In the center we're getting back, say, 6 millivolts. What's going to come out of here is 600 millivolts. What it does is take the signal from the load cell and basically multiplies it by about 100 to go to the ADC card. And then it plugs into the top of the ADC in order from right to left. So you can pull off at the ADC, you can pull off here, but if you pull off here, you're not gonna be able to see uh, what you're actually getting at the ADC unless you just back pin probe it but that's just something I want you to be aware of. What you get from the load cell itself gets amplified and that same signal goes to the ADC and that's all there is to it. That's why they call it a pre-amp board. It just amplifies it for the ADC.